What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to some more Astroneer. So, uh, last episode, we checked out these guys. Now, I put these cages right next to each other because it, it just keeps rolling back and forth in between them, and it sets them off randomly, so it's kind of funny. It might be kind of annoying. If it gets annoying, then we'll stop. Uh, we, won't, we won't have those going anywhere. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, it's cool. Anyways, uh, so last episode, we're checking out update things, right? Checking out the ball, checked out the canopy. Uh, checked out all that fun stuff all fun stuff all fun things but this episode we are going to be checking out the new platforms that is right we have some new things to play with in the game and i'm pretty excited to see what these uh what these are going to do i'm really excited about one of these items in, in particular so uh as always if you guys enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more but the item i'm looking forward to is the floodlight so this is supposed to light up an area different than the work light. It's supposed to be a floodlight so you can like, you know, light up a bigger area. Ideally, that's that's the plan here. That is the plan. So we're going to check that out. And then we also have uh, we have a medium storage silo helps with storing things. Uh, we have a tall storage, which is going to be fantastic. Ceramic is needed for that. Um, medium platform type C sounds good. Tall platform. All right. All right. Let's do it. And then I think, uh, I think that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and let's start making some of these things. Now, the requirements for a lot of these guys, they're kind of, they're kind of different. So, uh, floodlight requires one tungsten, one tungsten. Oh dear. I have a lot of titanium. Ooh, I need tungsten. So hopefully we can light up our base now. Maybe we'll have to see, uh, tungsten though. You should be tungsten. Hmm. Oh yeah. We got, is this tungsten? That's iron. That's iron. That's iron. Iron. Copper. Hmm. No, do we not have any tungsten? All right, we got the tungsten. No worries. <laughs> no worries. All right. Now, is this a backpack printed item? Hmm. It is floodlight backpack printed item. Okay. Now, how does this work on your backpack? Does it work on your backpack? Oh, it does. Oh, that's super cool looking. <gasps> oh, I love it. Okay. What if I have it on my back? <laughs> wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. That is so funny. <laughs> it's basically your, your life. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is too funny. Oh, it's like a rave. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Anyways, let's turn that off for now. <laughs> it's too fun. All right. So there's that. Uh, let's go ahead and check out. What is this? Uh, medium storage silo to titanium. Fantastic. We'll go ahead and make one of those. We're going to kind of run through everything and take a look at it for the first time. But then we're going to start utilizing them and turning them into to useful things and stuffs. Um, let's go ahead and actually just. Oh, no. Um, hmm, I'm going to place it somewhere else. Okay, that's not going to work for those. Let's place this guy. Nope. It, it, get uh, over here. Come here. <laughs> All right, boom. Uh, two titanium. Let's do this. Okay, fantastic. So we have a medium storage. Now we also need a tall storage, which is a ceramic. And we need a medium platform type C and a cop. Okay, so we need what? Ceramic and copper and resin. So ceramic and then I thought there was copper copper okay and then a resin as well what do I have in my bag tungsten titanium I don't really need the titanium I don't really need the carpet okay so we'll grab these guys bada bing bada boom uh so we have our our storage deal so now we want a tall storage that is that is very tall wow okay so we <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, medium platform type C. A little roundy guy. A little circle boy. A little circle boy platform. And then I think that's... Was that it? Oh, the tall platform. Okay, so what's the tall platform? Tall platform is one copper. Okay. All right. So we have all these different things. We're going to go bring them over here in the open so we can actually see what the heck's going on. Uh, these are going to be fun to play with for sure oh my gosh all of this is starting to get into the kind of create creative uses i guess you could say so uh tall storage what on earth <laughs> i love it oh i love it so much um okay medium storage style we'll go ahead and take that out uh tall storage just gonna take that out and then uh medium platform type c we'll take that out so it looks like these are kind of all meant for Wait, how many connectors is that thing? Is that a double connector? Okay, so... 
Interesting. That is a very interesting storage deal. Huh. That is super interesting. Hold on, let me grab another resin. All right, I want to grab another platform type C so we could have like one for each of these deals. Um, all right, so this goes on here and this holds what? One, two, three, four times three and six total. Wait a second. What are these side things? It almost looks like it would hold soil. Will this hold soil? No way. Maybe. No. Okay. Interesting. It's weird. Is it a ladder? Can I crawl up it? Nope. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, is this like some kind of like large storage container? Cause it looks like it. If you go into the, uh, the soil centrifuge, right? You go into here and it has these graphs. And I was thinking, I was like, is that like the same representation? Like this right here of this? Interesting. Does it say if it does anything special? It doesn't say anything about it. It just says medium storage, a utility item. Huh. Very, very interesting. That holds four. Hmm. Very interesting. That's that's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. Oh my gosh, we can we can fill it with work lights. Oh, we can fill it with batteries. We can we can fill it with anything. Oh, that's super cool. All right, uh, let's get these all connected. I like that. Uh, wait, does it do anything now that it's connected? That's really weird. I'm telling you, I feel like it should fill up with soil. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. And then we have these guys right here. Okay, so I could put this up here like that. Uh, that looks like a perfect starting light for, say, uh, Astro Cart of some sort. <laughs> that looks like exactly what it would be for. Interesting. And then these guys, these ones are what's a little interesting. I feel like these might have been made purely for these. Okay, what happens if I do it this way? Okay, so it puts a little bit of distance on it. Oh. Neato. And then that would cover this area. Oh, that is cool. And then we have these that if you put four of them on there, it would just cover like it would light up like a whole area. Oh my goodness. This is cool. This is very, very neat. Hmm. So you could easily light your entire base with these things. Oh, and it's about to be dark too. Oh, that is, that is going to be, that's going to be very handy. This is actually going to be handy too, because then this would allow you to put them on platforms. That's super weird that it, it makes it light from so far away. And, but this guy lights up like right here, you know? Ooh. Um, but then this guy right here, you could put these in an area. Oh, wow. Okay. So our base is dark. Uh, let's, let's try to get the base lighter then, shall we? I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of tungsten though. I only have like four. I can always trade if I need to. Let's try to, let's try to lighten up our base a little bit here. Uh, you know, I gotta say, I absolutely love these lights. This platform right here, this one copper platform is amazing. It's perfect for these because it holds them at the right angle and you can adjust them to where you can throw them in corners, light up two angles. <gasps> I just love this. I absolutely love that thing. It is amazing. Oh my gosh. You know what I just realized? This platform is no longer use. This. No. This platform might have just been replaced. The medium storage. Medium storage silo. Because this goes from eight resources to 24 in the same slot. <gasps> oh my gosh. That is amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, hold on. This doesn't have any functionality of like laying flat or anything. I'm sure it doesn't, but I want to make sure <laughs> I want to check. Um, I need a, I need a medium platform. All right. We're just going to snag this medium platform right here out of the sky. <laughs> we'll just use this guy. Uh, I don't think it's going to have any functionality like the, the regular medium platform where it lays flat when it's placed on one of these two uh outside pieces however we have to check we just have to check it to make sure okay 
All right, I was gonna say, I was like, I don't know how it would do it, but, oh man. Um, these, what is, what's the requirement to make these ones again? Oh, two titanium. Okay, so that it is pricey. It is pricey, it's a later game item for sure. But you'd go from eight slots to 24 on each of these. Oh, that is, that is silly. Oh my gosh, and when it comes to, oh, you know how much soil you could collect with that? Because each one of these you could replace with one of those. Oh my gosh, you could have, oh wow, that changes so, that changes so much. I can't even, <laughs> just, I can't even, I can't, I can't even right now. I can't even. Uh, now this guy, this guy is cool, but I'm just trying to think like what, uh, it would be good for placing on a platform if you want, if you wanted to have some lights somewhere that maybe you didn't want a little platform in betwixt. Um, it is really interesting though, because there's arrows on these little guys. So I don't know. Uh, I haven't figured out the functionality of this yet. Hmm. Utility, base building, utility. I don't know what... I'm just trying to think. What What is the functionality of this guy? And where... Because it's cheap too, right? It is, it is very cheap. Yeah, it's a ceramic. That's... That's not bad. It almost feels like it would be meant for a drill or or something. Something. I don't know. I don't really know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. What do you think this is for? How would you see this being used? Because these guys are just one copper and then you have all that and you have the double storage on the top. What would I use this one for? There's got to be there's got to be a perfect reason for it in that hmm you know what it what honestly what it, it could be what it could be is that this is cheaper than this because this one was how much was that one again no that was only copper and this is ceramic um i mean i guess I, ceramics easier to find than copper i guess so maybe if you didn't have any copper, you could make these instead and then place them on their own platform. Oh, they actually would be. No, because one, co one copper is not that bad. I mean, this would be one resin and one. Come here, come here, little platform, because this would be one resin and one ceramic and it ha gives you the same functionality. It gives you, gives you the same three prongs. You could put it like this, except the lights would be a little bit different. The lights would be facing this way as opposed to the other way. Uh, I mean, that's pretty good though. It doesn't quite give you the spread that this does. Hmm, interesting, very interesting. And then you have this piece right here. So that's another thing that's kind of interesting in that you could have this and it would light things up over there. We'll have to wait till it gets dark again because this could be, I mean, maybe this is better than this in that you could just put these on the outskirts and have them all facing this way, just outside of your base. And then your whole base would be equally lit up. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Um, we're going to wait. We're going to wait for it to be dark again, which is weird. I literally never wait for it to be dark. <laughs> we're going to wait for it to be dark. And then we're going to check this out um, versus actually, let me just move this whole platform. Let's move this over on this side. And we're going to compare it directly to that one and just kind of see what uh, what kind of happens here. What's different and which one do we prefer? Because maybe, maybe this would be better for that. I don't know. All right, so while I'm waiting for night, another thing. These have their own little, little thing. Oh, <gasps> I know what that, that would be great for a cave base. Oh my gosh, that'd be fantastic for cave base. If you were building inside and you wanted uh you wanted overhead lighting. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm just gonna build a thing. We're gonna we're gonna do a quick example. <gasps> quick example. Say we wanted something like this, right? And then you were in a cave and you wanted to build overhead, and you didn't want to have to like do anything like super crazy. Uh let's say like you know, the top of the cave is like right here-ish, I guess. You could stick this up here and then power it with a battery and a platform type C. That would work. 
and then you have your own little battery and your little power source. So you could plug this in like this, like that. Oh, you would have an underground lighting. Ooh, this floodlight, I think is becoming my favorite light. Uh, the only thing is that I don't think it really works very well on your backpack. This, the work light is definitely a work light, but these are definitely, these are definitely like base lighting. This, this is the base lighting. I think we've been asking for, for a very long time. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay. All right, so it's starting to get dark. Let me wait for it to get fully dark, and we'll be back in just a second. All right, I think that's about as dark as it's going to get. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of in a weird spot. Uh, so here's these lights, and you can see the beams, right? They refract. One's going this way, one's going this way. So it's kind of dead right here. However, you have this light, which is lighting up. It's lighting up this area. It's going out a little bit further. It's not as intense. So there is that, but let's see what, how does it look with this? Like that. Okay, so it's a little bit brighter here. Not as spread, doesn't quite cover the angles that this one right here covers. Uh, gee, are you? Oh, that seat has a light on it. That's always on, interesting. <laughs> uh, I still, I think this one right here is good for base lighting. This is, this is cheaper though, but the lights are still titanium, right? Is it titanium or tungsten? I think they're actually, actually, I think they're tungsten, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, they're tungsten. So not super expensive. You just have to go off planet to get that. Hmm. That's really bright right there. And I think I kind of prefer these. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I think so. Cause these kind of, these kind of diffuse the light a little bit. I mean, it is dark next, like right next to the base where it's at. So that's cool. But this, oh, this is super cool that you could light up an area like that. Um, so now that makes me want to try, let's go higher. Let's take this up a little bit and let's, let's bring it up. Maybe we'll be putting a ceiling on our base because a lot of the reasons that we did never, we'd never put ceilings on the bases was because it was really hard to light and you could never really light it up very well, you know? So if we did this much higher right kind of kind of out of out of the way um and we threw this here and we grab this guy and we threw this here and then just connected it oh oh that is handy that is that is handy hmm yeah because if we put a ceiling over our base then the whole base would be lit up like this we could have the entire base lit up like this at night. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Inside bases are a thing. Like before it was just a pain because it was always so dark. And you had to have a ton of work lights and the, or yeah, yeah. You had to have a ton of work lights that never really, they never really put off that much light. I mean, this guy though, it's, uh, it's right next to the habitat though. So it's really not, really not a good example there. Hmm. I do like this. I like that too. I'm, I'm actually very surprised. <laughs> I'm super excited. I'm sorry um very cool very cool hmm might have to build a cave base it's been a very long time since i made a cave base so we might have to make a cave base and utilize this type of lighting right here because i think that could be fun i mean we could even use it in like a quarry kind of fashion oh very cool very cool indeed i who knew i'd be so excited about lighting uh i still haven't really figured out like on the ground these things really don't do a whole lot though they don't light up like anything on the ground, so I mean, I guess they could light up your ceiling, I guess, if you did like a ceiling base thing or something. I, <laughs> I don't really know. All right. Yeah. So I was, I was looking through patch notes, make sure I wasn't missing anything with lighting or with new platforms. Uh, they also added a bunch of new fauna, I guess, uh, or flora, flora, not fauna. Sorry. There's there's still no no living things to come after you, but they added some new flora. Um, and I would have to, oh, I'd have to go out and like really search for it because they added quite a few things. They added a, a, a boomaloon and then they added common, vicious and deadly his, hibiscus, noxious spew flower, elegant spew flower, shiny attactus, volatile attactus, noxua, noxious cataplant and vol, volatile cataplant. So I think those, Hmm. I think, I don't know. Oh, they're called mutant seeds. Unexplained phenomena causing previously seedless hazards to very rarely drop what X, what we at Exodynamics are calling mutant seeds. While these seeds are too anomalous to be properly scanned or researched, we have found that the resulting plant that spawns from there 
carries none of the dangerous traits of its parents and instead is docile, well, harmless. And multiple astroneers have recorded utilizing them for decorative purposes, looking for these new fascinating finds as potential drops from those plants. So, uh, those I, they're not new plants, I guess. They're just, you can get seeds and stuff from them to make like a, a, a non-hazardous version to ne set next to your base. So, very cool. Have to play with that as well. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh, we have, we have stuff to do. We have things to do because like this right here is going to add base stuff. Also, with the lighting situation, we could have a full stadium now when we go to this. Oh, this hasn't been going off the entire time. <laughs> uh, oh, it's because I was too far away. It was physics lock. Yeah, we got a goal. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm sorry. It's so funny. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Uh, covered the platforms. We covered these now. In the next episode, we're going to cover some rover stuff. And um, I'm... I'm I'm just like, I can't wait to try and play with all this stuff and see what's different. I'm excited that there's breaks that you can actually stop. Like, you can actually stop on the thing. It's it's amazing. Hmm. Very cool. Very cool. But um, that is going to end this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. We are going to be... <laughs> It's still going. It's still going. We're going to be back playing some more. Uh, we're going to check out the vehicle stuff next. That's going to be the next episode. Uh, it has to deal with drills and how rovers react and respond to things. And uh, a lot of drill stuff, though, actually. So, uh, yeah, we'll definitely be taking a look at that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well, because that'd be awesome. And thank you guys so much for the support. I do appreciate it. And until next time, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. I can't wait to see you in the next one.